Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Race to the Finish episode. Slightly different one this time because it's been a month. It has been 30 days since I started this little challenge. So I thought today it would be a good idea to uh, just kind of test and see if I've actually learned anything. If this is the first episode of this series that you are watching, basically at the start of the year, I challenged myself to learn Finnish for one hour every single day for the year of 2020. And I think the 30 day at landmark is actually pretty important because it, first of all, it means it's probably the longest I've ever kept a new year's resolution go me. <laughs> Secondly, they say it takes about three weeks for you to develop a habit. So we're past that point now. So that's another another win. And thirdly, I think the change of the month is a pretty good milestone to, to test ourselves. So we're going to do that today. When I've done these tests in the past, it's always been a bit tongue in cheek, you know, not mega serious, basically trying to guess my way through the exam. This time, I don't think it's going to be like that. I'm, I'm genuinely a little bit confident for this one. Yeah. So let's jump in and see if you can learn any finish in 30 days. All right, so we find ourselves on the tasteoffinish.fi. Uh, this is a website which was developed mainly for students that are studying at the University of Helsinki. I, in fact, got told to visit this website and complete all of uh, these chapters before I started the, the course. Uh, which I then quit quite soon after. Needless to say, I didn't get very far through through this course. So this will be interesting to see if I can answer any of the quiz questions. For example, if we click click on chapter one, Kuka Sina Olet, who are you? Uh, you'll see that uh, there are some extra lessons here. And if we click on one of those, you basically go through the lesson and there's audio um cues and things that you should be listening and repeating we're not going to do any of that today no no we are going to scroll right to the bottom and at the bottom here are some exercises some quizzes that is where we are going to jump to today oh, oh, oh okay this is exciting so we might as well start here with the coca sina olet uh lesson one quizzes so this is about personal pronouns now just to make this a little bit more fun uh, because exams really aren't that much fun. I'm going to give myself five lives. Five lives. If I lose all five lives, then it's the end of the quiz. And uh, yeah, I suck. So let's see how far I can get on these five lives. Kuka sina olet. That one's easy. That's the name of the exercise. That's, that's a freebie. Kuka blank on. Now this will be the han pronoun, I would say. Yes. We're flying through these. Two for two. Question three of three. Blank Olen. So that is the personal pronoun, I think. So that will be Mina. Mina Olen Wa. No, ne. Three of three. Let's quit. That's it. Game over. I win. But we do have a second quiz here. So we're going to choose the correct form of the verb Olla. Okay, let's do it. For these, I'm not even going to try and look at the options. It's kind of hard because it's right there. But uh, let's see if I can do it without looking at it, like, on purpose. Tassa on Kaere. I would say. Do we have an on? Yes. No. Wait. That's uh, that's uh, on. Yeah. On. Like hand on. No ni. Hyvä Dave. Mina olen. Come on. This is easy. Mikä sinun nimi on? Mikä sinun nimi on? Mikä sinun nimi on? Oh no. That that was saying on was the natural thing for me. Mika sinun nimi on. But I want to say, because it's sinun, it's sina, so then that would be olet. Mika sinun nimi olet. That just doesn't sound right though. I'm going to go with my gut. No lives lost. Kuka sina olet. Now that is sina. Yes. All right, last quiz for this, this lesson. Choose the correct genitive form of a personal pronoun and place it into the sentence. I'll pretend I understood all of that. Okay, so tässä on taia. Blank suku nimi on virtanen. No niin. Moi taia virtanen. So they're talking about this is taia hanen. Okay, next one is olen Juan. So we're talking about me this time. I am Juan. Hauska tavata. Minun sukunimi on Ruiz. Ruiz. Okay, next. Kaire. Mikä sinun 
sukunimi on. Check. Correct Amundo. Okay, so let's jump into the Kokasina Olet uh, lesson 1.2. Mr. Sina Olet Kotoisin. Where are you from? Okay, skip, 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 skip. Okay, there's a lot of information for this one, but we're just gonna go to the we'll go to the exercises, I think. Start quiz. He ovat ranskasta. Mr. Sina. Mr. Sina. Olet. Mr. Te olette. Han on. Me olemme. Mina olen. I'm pretty confident with that. I think that one is is correct. And it is. Feels good, man. Feels good. All right, next one. Write the correct personal pronoun in the sentence. Oh crap, I gotta write it. Okay. Mr. Sina olet kotoisin. Blank olen espanjalainen. Mina. Mina olen Juan. Juan Ruiz. Correct. Mr. He ovat. No niin. Minka maalainen. Han. On. Yes. Four of six. Okay, next one. Olemme. That is me. Me olemme saksasta. And next. Mistä te olette. Just over a minute to finish that one. Oh yeah. Okay. This. This is where it gets interesting, folks. I, ha I have a feeling I'm going to lose some lives right now. Choose the correct form of the ending. Now, last week, I dipped my little pinky toe into the ocean, which is endings in Finnish. Um, I can't say that I really understood a lot of it. The, the grammar of Finnish, uh, as I mentioned in the last video, is uh, morbidly fascinating in its complexity. I think it's... I think it's incredible, but it's very hard. Choose the correct sta, sta, or ulta. <laughs> okay, um, crap. Crap, crap, crap. Aldo on Italia sta. I want to say sta. Yes, yes. Rolf on Berli Berlinista. Okay, no lives lost. Oleg on Venayasta. <laughs> why? Why, why, why? What is the LTA all about? <sighs> We've lost a life. That one hurt. That one hurt a lot. But the good thing is about this is that I know where the gaps are in my knowledge so far and what they think I should know already according to Helsinki University at least. So not only is this quite fun to do, but it's actually very, very useful for me in my, my studies. Because I got two out of three that time. 66.67%. Not good, not, not great. All right, the next one. Complete the sentences by using the appropriate nationality adjective. I will try. Oh, okay, yeah, this is gonna be tricky. I really probably should have looked at the, the lesson for this one, but let's, let's try. Rolf on Saksasta. Han on Saksa? Saksa, Saksa Leinen. Leinen, Saksa Leinen. All right, all right, I'll take it, I'll take it. Mina olen Italiasta. Olen Juan. No, wait, he's Spanish, isn't he? Olen Mario. How's Katavata? Uh, olen Itali... Oop. Itali... Italiainen. That doesn't sound right. Italialainen. 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 <laughs> okay, good. Right, good, good, good. Three of six. One on Espanasta. Hand on... Espanialainen. <sighs> okay, this is actually quite easy. This is easier than I thought it would be, this one. Arnaud on Ranskasta. Han on Ranskalainen. Teia on Suomesta. Han on Suomalainen. I oh, need. This is actually quite easy. Okay. The 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 Russians are going to trip me up, I think. Uh, let's see. Oleg on Venayalta. Oleg on Ven Venayalainen. 
Mitta. One bad thing is that it doesn't tell you the correct answer. Maybe I have to go up here to, to figure this out. I had the right idea, it would seem. Venalainen. Okay, not Venayalainen. Okay. Second life lost. Okay, we've got three left. What the hell? I'm gonna skip a few chapters here. I'm gonna go to chapter five. Uh, just to kind of mix up the vocabulary a little bit. Let's go for a coffee. Menan kahvile. Skip, 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 skip. And this could actually be quite useful. I'm yet to do my going to a cafe and ordering in Finnish challenge, which a lot of people have, have set for me. So this could be useful. Let's, let's have a look. Make let's suggestions. Okay. Use the following verbs and complete the sentences. Example, syödä. Syödän ravintolassa. Mennä. Hmm. We're gonna go mennään. Yes. Juoda kahvia. Juodan. Hey! Remember when I said I wasn't gonna guess my way through this one? Well, guess what happened? Puhua. Puhuan. Yeah, I don't know why that one was wrong. I followed the same clues as the last two, but I should have known they were gonna try and trick me. Kusua. I must say like that's kusualta or something like that. <laughs> oh no, how embarrassing. Okay, that is three lives lost. Okay, let's go, let's go to chapter two. New neighbors, we live here, this is my room. Let's at least go to the third, third ch uh, chapter in this, or third lesson in this chapter. Okay, listen and write down the words. Ooh, listening exercise, okay. Bailey. Wait, what? Bailey. Bailey. Are we talking about a person here? Bailey. What? Okay, I'm, I'm not counting that as a lost life because I, I, I don't know really what's going on here. Let's try the second <laughs> audio quiz. <laughs> Okay, that that I heard. That I understand. That is like a, a desk. No. No, that's is like a nightstand. Is that right? Yeah, buddy. Kellari. Kellari. I don't know what that is, but I can spell it. Matto. Matto. That is exactly how it sounds. Good. We'll just gloss over that lost life. Complete the sentences. Which form the word must take? What? Which form the word must take? That doesn't sound quite right. <laughs> okay, but let's try. Okay, this is amme. Kylpehuonessa ei ole. So we're talking about like a bath bathtub, I think. There's no bathtub in the in the bathroom. Is it just basic? Ugh. That's four lives lost. I, I have a feeling that this is, this is, uh, this is ending now. Pesukone. Kylpehuonessa ei ole pesukone. Pesukonetta. This could be it, guys. Pesukonetta, maybe? <laughs> Yes! Okay, that actually felt like a huge win because as I read the sentence, that is the first thing that came to my head. I may have even said it. I just want to kind of say that it's the basic thing here, but it's that's not right. Maybe the negative uh, aspect of the sentence changes it a little bit. Again, I would be kind of guessing. I want to get rid of that K. Hail singing. They get rid of the K for a G. Sang. 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 I feel like I've seen this somewhere, but it could be wrong. Dang it. Well, that's five lives, folks. I'm dead. So what can I take out of this little experiment here um, in, that shows this in a positive way? Uh, maybe that I'm pretty good at the mina sina han mehtehe thing. That's, I think I've got that locked. It's just everything else. But no, this was just a little bit of fun really, just to, just to see where I'm at, see where, where I should be, uh, according to 
according to Helsinki University at least. But you know what, this is actually a really good tool that I completely forgot about. And like I say, they, they told us to go through this and complete it by the time we started the course and I did not do that. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at this now and, and use this as a tool because it could be pretty good, I think. I'll leave a link to this in the description if any of you guys are, are learning Finnish and you wanna check it out as well. It's just uh, tasteoffinnish.fi. But that about do it for this week, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please give a thumbs up on this video if you have enjoyed it. Maybe I'll check in with these uh, quizzes over the course of this challenge and see if I can come back and nail some of these ones which I didn't get right. Yeah, give a thumbs up if you have enjoyed it. If you haven't seen the rest of this series, there are four, three episodes before this. Uh, so yeah, you can go back and check that out and see uh, how I've gotten to the stage where I'm at now. Uh, <laughs> if that's anywhere, of course. And if you want to follow my journey, learning Finnish every day for an entire year, you can just hit that subscribe button. I make a video every single week, just kind of summarizing my, my learning through the week. And uh, yeah, you can follow me on this, this pretty crazy journey that I'm on this year. Once again, guys, thank you so, so much for joining me today and I'll see you guys next time. See ya.